Hello and welcome back to Spotlight. This is a game I'm wanting to shed a light on. This is Dark Future. This is a game which I think got unfortunately overlooked. It's a really hard game to quantify. It's a hard game to kind of throw into any one genre. First of all, I should get this out of the way. I think, question mark, that this game is set in some kind of Warhammer universe, question mark. But I have no idea how, what kind of game is this? Well, I mean, first you can throw it into the rogue light genre. It doesn't really feel like a roguelite to me considering the mechanics that we're going to talk about it's more of a campaign with a lot of micro games in it not micro games like warrior micro games meaning like missions i'm going to pick a mission here an easy one this is a game i've already started so i've got plenty of weapons and, and armor and stuff like that we'll talk about uh how you upgrade your vehicle but i really am going to focus on the mechanics because i think that that is going to be the draw for people what kind of game is this well the the trailer says not a driving game i disagree i I think it is a driving game. I think it is a driving game that doesn't necessarily focus on the driving aspects so much as the combat has. So what we have real time turn based combat, real time meaning things are happening right now in real time, but I can pause the game whenever I want and uh, make some decisions. Uh, I am making decisions in real time and I'm also kind of taking turns. In this mission, currently I am escorting this here friend. We got to make sure that we survive and we got to make sure that they survive. Easy enough, right? Like it's, it's nothing more complicated than that. What are we going to be protecting them from? We're going to be protecting them from this goon. We have a myriad of weaponry and tools at our disposal. We have our speed. We have which lane we're driving in. We do kind of rigidly stay to those lanes. However, our car has like physics to it. So if it gets knocked around, it, it can like kind of travel between lanes a little bit. But for the most part, if I pick a lane, that's the one that my car is going to try its hardest to stay in. Uh, right now I have equipped our light machine gun. Those are pointed forward and they don't have a lot of gimbling to them though they have a little bit and we have a rocket launcher which has a target target takes time to kind of hone in so you know i gotta i gotta kind of take that into consideration i did shoot forward and unfortunately we kind of missed and we might hit our friend a little bit but that's okay they've got a little bit of armor they can take it and the last thing we have at least equipped right now is our light pipe bombs which i'm gonna go uh let go now those can be really useful i did pretty much miss but that's fine and you know things have to recoup you know reload after i've used them and so there's you know we kind of have to wait for that a little bit and when we're paused in this mode then you know it's going to be slower so it might be a good time to just wait things out we are traveling at a certain speed everyone else is kind of traveling at a certain speed so oh, this match speed is what i'm doing when i when i target units i'm gonna i, I tried to kind of sneak up ahead of them but that didn't work out uh, i'm trying to get in front of him so that he's uh not not an easy target and also so i can kill this guy i'm gonna let loose my pipe bombs now. There we go. That was kind of perfect. There's some more goons in front of us. We're going to go ahead and switch lanes and also match speed with them. Ah, I'm going to hit this form up um, action and that's going to make him match my speed. I can also manually do that by selecting him and then uh, having him, you know, match speed but uh, you know it's sometimes it's easier just to do it that way i'm gonna hit our light machine gun so we can try and do some damage to this guy i've leveled up a few times i've gotten a bit of extra gear and stuff so it's gonna seem like not really the case the game is actually quite hard playing an easy mission is actually a mistake i'll talk a little bit about that later for now let's go ahead and speed this guy up he's uh taking a little bit of damage and then i'm gonna match his uh lane and see if i can't pipe bomb this guy uh actually i know my speed relevant to our escort is quite slow so i'm gonna try and match our speed but it takes a bit of time to accelerate so i'm gonna hit our boost here to try and match speed a bit, a bit more quickly the lane is good and actually we're in a good position to try and hit this guy with our rocket launcher it doesn't take too long to uh to to track and we don't if they're right in front of us then it doesn't really matter too much and we're now way 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 out of uh sight of our escort which is not necessarily good so i'm actually going to switch to our escort and then tell them to slow down and also hit the brake and that's gonna make them st like slow down very suddenly. That'll help us catch up a bit. And that'll put them out of range of uh, those goons. We'll hit the form up so that he begins to kind of come back to us. I hope I didn't pipe bomb him a little bit there. He can take it. I promise. We can see his health right here. Those blue bars around, that kind of indicates their armor. And then the car itself is actually a health bar. That's our core health. Once their armor is gone on any side, they'll start to take core damage. And that's uh, what we actually have to be worried about. So, you know, things are actually totally fine right now. This guy is, he seems really beefy, but in actuality, he doesn't really have a lot going on. I'm actually gonna slow down. 
I have um, I have a special like extra utility to keep myself rear armor. So he's only really hurting himself here. And now that he's in front of us, I'm gonna try and match lane and also hit my machine guns. You know, like I say, we have armor and we have core. Some weapons are gonna be good at taking out armor. Some weapons are gonna be good at taking out the core health. And then some weapons are also balanced for both. In terms of our light MG, it's balanced. Our rocket launcher is balanced and our light pipe bombs are good against armor. So I don't necessarily use them. I, I tend to go for balance so that I don't have to worry about uh, that as much. But you know, it's it's a good thing to know. You can actually build some, some pretty interesting combos of weapons. You know, I'll hit them with this weapon and so I, I soften them up a bit and then hit their core now that it's exposed. The uh, rocket launcher does have auto targeting. You can see the laser is set up already, but it's not perfect. So it's actually usually better to just put your own lock on something, manually target something so that you can, you can kind of focus fire on stuff. I'm gonna hit them. Guy in the front, sometimes you can get lucky since there, there is physics in this game. You can get really lucky uh, with some of the enemies basically colliding into each other. And in fact, um, the best thing is when an enemy flips over because basically there's, you know, they're, they're kind of down for the count. Let's go ahead and hit our pipe bombs. This is a really good situation. There's a lot of dudes following us, but we've actually already won. We just had to escort our friend a little bit of a distance. So that's um, an example of a combat situation. Most missions kind of boil down to just like fight stuff just just fight a bunch of stuff and you could say that it, that is a weakness of the game i wouldn't because i really like the combat in this game now this is actually kind of a extra thing you, you can focus on in the game certain missions will give you a reputation with certain factions so we've gotten a repu enough reputation with the g mech to get unlock the heavy machine gun and that'll become available in the shop it's actually available right now so i could take that and we might actually that might be a really good take. There's a lot of things to consider when it comes to your car. Everything that you buy and add to your car affects its weight. It has a certain weight limit. Right now we are on the upper end of our weight limit. To increase our weight limit, we're gonna have to upgrade our engine, which I'm gonna do right now. And I can't afford it now, especially since I've upgraded our engine. We can sell, we can buy some stuff, we can sell the things that we already have. I mean, like I've upgraded our armor a little bit. I could sell our armor. Uh, I could sell, say, our rear armor. Um, since we have two rear armors, I really did like overly armor our rear. I think I'll take one of those off and instead buy the weight cap. So that's gonna buy us a lot of forgiveness when it comes to the weight. The last thing I wanna talk about is our gas we have gas we have to make sure that we keep our car fueled but as the game progresses there is actually an acceleration in costs so when i first started playing this the fuel cost 40,000 per bar then it increased in price to 60,000 and now 86,000 so that's going to progress the reason for that is it's kind of forcing you to consider taking harder missions the harder missions are going to give you more money this one for instance is going to give me 400,000 uh if you run out of fuel it's game over i just just really like the combat in this game i like the the technique to fighting you know multiple vehicles um and i also just really love how vehicles like explode and i i think that uh, a lot of the art direction in this game is actually really cool in terms of like how vehicles uh i've seen vehicles like tear themselves in half as they're like spinning away uh, and also rocket launchers tend to miss on curves oh yeah oh don't flip don't flip wait yeah, there we go. There is the car ripping in half. I love that. You can do some fun stuff if you uh, armor up enough. You can get ramming spikes and they'll, then you can just like turbo boost through enemies. Going well, we have taken a little bit of core damage. Our, our rear is now exposed. That's okay, we have the ability to repair our core. Probably a little bit of a waste there. It's got a very hefty cooldown. You can, um, if you find that you are struggling, hire uh, a goon. Hire goons? Here's a blockade run, so let's do a, a blockade run. The nice thing about these missions is you really, really don't have to focus on combat. You don't get anything extra for kills. So here's our first blockade. The curve is making it kind of tough to figure out which lane it is, but it was the left lane. Um, it, I did notice it, it limits your speed, so you can't just like blast through this mission. We are on the right side. We got our landmines ready. Let's go ahead and use them. You can treat this game like a... Um, real-time game where, you know, like I can press a button and it'll use it automatically. And uh, I think that would be valid, but oh, 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 please knock us back on our wheels. No. Oh, so that costs us $20,000. Hit those mines. There we go. That was the last blockade. 
If you've uh, played Dark Future, please let me know in the comments. I'd love to talk about it. If you've played other games like Dark Future, also let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear about other games in this kind of very bizarre niche genre. And if you enjoyed this video, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.